Greetings. Grand rising. I hope everybody's doing well. I'm coming live again. I'm on a roll, right, y'all? <laughs> uh, let's go. Let's see. I'm just typing in my pin title so everybody knows what I'm talking about. Welcome, welcome. Greetings, great rising, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you find this video. My name is Dr. Nicole Brantley. I'm affectionately known as the womb therapist. I help women who have fibroids, PCOS, endometriosis, and those who have trouble conceiving take the option of hysterectomy and other surgeries off of the table and truly get to the root of your healing because a surgeon can cut out everything except for cause. So I'm coming to you guys today with another video as promised. Today, I'm going to be talking about three tips for better womb health, right? I am the womb therapist. So um, I'm going to jump right into that. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them out in the comments as you hear me speaking. Um, whether you're watching the replay or you're live, go ahead and hit that paper airplane in the corner and share this video out to people who you think could benefit from this conversation. So we're talking about three tips that women can implement to support their, their womb health, for so for better womb health. The first thing that we're going to talk about is incorporating more raw foods into your diet. That is number one, right? And the reason why we want to incorporate more food, raw foods into our diet for better womb health is because this is going to help with everything. The number one reason for disease is acidosis, high levels of acid in the body as a result of one's diet, right? So in order to correct that, we have to rehydrate the body. So incorporating more foods, raw foods into your diet is going to help correct dehydration and acidosis, okay? It's going to open up the elimination pathways we have five of those, right? We have our kidneys, which is our main ones. We have our bowels, which are next to help us excrete waste. Our lungs help us to excrete mucus. Our skin, when we sweat, helps us to excrete toxins. And our lymphatic system is going to help us to move things, right? But the body has to be alkaline. There has to be a flow because acid locks in things and it keeps it from flowing. So we have to open up those channels of elimination, all right, and keep things moving. The bowels are super important though, especially for your womb health. So you want to make sure your colon is always clean. Why? Because your colon sits on top of the uterus. So when women are dealing with womb imbalances, female problems, fibroids, PCOS, endometriosis, chronic yeast infections, and things of that nature, you have to understand that toxicity from your colon can be leaching into your womb space as a result of your colon being backed up. So raw foods are going to be high in fiber usually, and they're going to help you to move your bowels more efficiently, right? So that's why you want to incorporate more raw foods into your diet. The issue is lots of women eat way too many fatty, oily foods right? And this contributes to the womb imbalances like fibroids, PCOS, endometriosis, trouble conceiving, things of that nature. And when we do that, we exacerbate the womb issues, right? We, we make them worse than what they have to be. So this is why there's importance, the importance to have raw foods in your diet provides balance, right? So that is number one. I'm going to share this video out with a few of my people. Hold on one second. All right. So um, that was number one. Incorporate more raw foods into your diet. Number two is going to be use non-toxic feminine hygiene products. Why are we saying that? Because all over the counter, feminine hygiene products are toxic for the most part, right? You have those one-offs that are going to say they're organic. Okay. But you still need to make sure that they are non-toxic because when they're not organic, they are going to contain glyphosate and other chemicals as a result of the way that the cotton is farmed. So you want to make sure that you're using proper um, feminine hygiene tools that are non-toxic to catch your menstrual cycle. That is huge, okay? Again, 
all over the all over the counter pads are toxic for the most part, right? And I don't need to name drop. You know who they are. They're non-organic. They're going to contain glyphosate and other chemicals that are harmful for the body. Number two, um, as it relates to using non-toxic products, you want to steer clear of tampons. Tampons are very toxic, period, even when they're organic, right? So if you're going to use them because that's just your thing, make sure they're organic because they're sitting up against the thinnest tissue in your body, which is your vaginal tissue, absorbing all of that toxicity, which makes you bleed heavier and which makes you bleed longer. Okay. But they also plug your flow and can ca cause what is known as TSS or toxic shock syndrome. People have died. Women have died from wearing tampons. Okay, they're highly toxic. You don't want to plug your flow. It is a flow for a reason, right? Some people are just totally against pads. You just haven't been introduced to the right one. So make sure that you go over to my website, which is wombtherapist.com, W-O-M-B-T-H-E-R-A-P-I-S-T.com and go and get your rain pads. We have all sizes for all flows. We have super heavy, overnight, heavy, moderate, and then we have panty liners, with both wings and without wings. And our newest addition is our thong um, liners, okay? So if you are somebody who wears thongs, we have liners for those specifically. So those are going to help make for a better cycle. Women actually look forward to their menstrual cycles when they're using our products. Now, let me tell you some things that women have said. These are not claims. These are things that women who have used the product have reported back to me. Um, no odor because we have a graphene strip in there that kills 99.9% .9 of, of bacteria. So therefore there's no period odor, okay? We also have women who report shorter, lighter cycles. The elimination or the complete, you know, like significantly minimizing menstrual cramps or menstrual pain, right? Some women have said that it's helped them with incontinence. So we've gotten amazing testimonials um, back as a result of people changing to this rain non-toxic pad. All right, so that was two. Number one was incorporating more raw foods into your diet, right? Number one was incorporating more raw foods into your diet. Two is using non-toxic feminine hygiene products. And three, this is a biggie, because as women, we take on a lot of things. But the third thing that's gonna be um, helpful for your womb health is addressing your emotional baggage. I know you're like, well, what does that have to do with the womb? Because if you don't, it will halt your healing, okay? So get rid of the stressors in your life. Some of them you can't get rid of. They're your spouse or your kids or your family members. But figure out how to navigate through those relationships. Figure out ways to go and de-stress and decompress when you have high stress levels, a high stress level job in your life or whatever the case may be, right? Address your emotional baggage. You have to get rid of your stressors or learn how to navigate them. Also, within that, you need to clear your energy to remove energetic and emotional blocks. Essentially, what does that mean? You have to learn to release whatever that is, whether that's people in your life, situations, circumstances, all of those things. You have to learn to let go of things that no longer serve you, right? So clearing your energy to remove energetic and emotional blocks. I have helped women do this through my vaginal steaming programs and women who otherwise could not conceive was able to conceive because they literally move, removed the energetic and emotional blocks that were blocking them from conception. There was no room for baby essentially, if you get what I'm saying, all right? So if you have deep wounds, deep trauma, old or new, that you're still holding on to, seek professional help. Seek a therapist, right? Stop looking at that in a negative light if you're a person that looks at therapy as something that's negative. Seek professional help to deal with your trauma and your old wounds because they show up in your relationships, all of them, your coworkers and your interpersonal relationships and your romantic relationships. It's going to show up. When you don't address your emotional baggage, your relationships will. They will highlight them, right? So tell yourself the truth. That's the other thing, especially about the relationships in your life, right? Stay away from negative people. Stay away from people who constantly drain your energy, who bring you down, who distract you from your goals and your purpose. Let them go. Deal with them at a distance, family or not, right? Friends for years or not. 
make the decisions that support you best in your life, right? So continue to learn to let go of those things that no longer serve you. Love yourself more. Give yourself the love that you so want to give to other people, right? So health is not just about diet or what you eat. It is also about what you think and what you're saying to yourself and what you believe about yourself. So those are the three tips. Incorporate more raw foods. Use non-feminine hygiene, non-toxic feminine hygiene products. Address your emotional baggage. And I do have a couple of bonuses, but before I get into those, I want to say don't forget that our raw, the raw group detox program will be starting June. 3rd, Monday, June 3rd. So if you're going to be a part of that group, make sure that you join so that you can understand the information of the content, the kit contents that are recommended. They're not required, but they're highly recommended to help you stay raw throughout this journey of the 30-day group. Okay. So that link is in the bio. Make sure you click there or just go to my website, ilovebeingfresh.com forward slash um, well, you don't even have to do the forward slash. I was going to say forward slash the programs, but you just click on the programs tab and then you'll see the raw group detox program right there. 30 day program. We're going to be going all raw, right? And if you feel like, oh my gosh, I can't just jump into all raw. There are modifications for you, right? But people who come into my programs and have done them and are coming back for more of a challenge, this is going to be that challenge for them. But if you need some modifications to that, like one meal a day that's cooked, we can work those things out. And all of those program details will be spelled out once you come over into the program. So make sure that you go and book your spot today. All right, some bonuses. One is make sure that you are urinating after sexual intercourse, okay? And then I'm gonna have you take it a step further and say, if you have my womb healing tea and douche blend, use it, right? Douche after intercourse, especially if there was no protection, okay? Um, if you don't have it, make sure you get it. It's on the same website, I love being fresh.com. You will have, have hear a gynecologist tell you, oh, don't douche, don't douche, don't douche. Right. Don't douche with things that are going to dry out your vaginal cavity or that are going to throw off your pH. My womb healing tea and douche blend is pH balanced, it has many different herbs in there to cleanse and wash down the vaginal cavity, remove mucus, reversing HPV, and helping you to maintain a healthy vaginal cavity cavity. Okay. You can do this monthly after your menstrual cycle for three days at bedtime. My clients who do that on a regular basis and order their womb healing tea on a monthly basis have great results, great testimonials about what that has done for them. Okay. And then use natural methods to correct infections or irritability when you do that. One way to do that is my womb healing tea and douche blend. So if you're just tuning in, go back Listen to the three tips for better womb health. I hope you all have an amazing day. Remember, health doesn't happen by chance. It happens by choice. So take care of your body so that your body can take care of you. Peace, love, and wellness. And I hope to see you guys in our raw 30-day detox group program that begins Monday, June 3rd. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Bye for now.